Hello and today's tutorial will show you how to make pop-up menus in fireworks. So first of all get a new document and put it to 955 and the height is 50. So I'm going to get the rectangle tool. Drag it across there. Make sure it's 955 or 50 again. And click the background and fit canvas. So it'd be all in a line. I'm going to change the gradient to that red down there. Sorry about the colours, I think it's a screen recorder. So then now I'm going to make some buttons and get into the rectangle, rectangle tool, which is quite effective really. So I'm good. Use that. Do that. Drag it down there. Simple as that. Click at that and ask gradient. And now I'm going to go Control C, which is basically copy the Control V, and keep pressing it until I get quite a few. And it's just pasting and copying. That's all it is. So now I'm going to dra drag them across. <coughs> just as simple as that. So now I'm going to put a bit of text on these buttons. So I'm going to put home. Photos. Tutorials. and help and then links and I'll just get those back in place because it's going back and now I'm going to split it all up this is one of the most important bits so all it's basically doing is putting it in all into small images so I'm going to click that tool them all up so I'm going to have to make little ones. I'm just doing this really quickly but try and be as careful as you can. So you just keep dragging it across just as simple as that and you'll make all your photos. Now we're going to add the drop down menu which is extremely simple. So I'm going to get the selector tool and I'm going to click the one that I'm going to add the drop down menu to which is photos. So I'm going to you go into modify, pop pop up menu, add pop up menu. So here you type in a text to display and the link to what your page will go to. So blackball page one dot htm. So you would just have to put where your page is. <coughs> where yours page two dot htm. <coughs> and Scotland page 3.htm you might have noticed these buttons at the top which are very very handy so I'm just going to click the back or one and I'm just going to add one under there and I'm going to put C so if I click C side so after I click that 
it sort of makes a second drop down menu to go from that so I'm going to do that so that's that bit done now I'm going to change the appearance I'm going to change it to an image the cell oh, that's pretty cute. I'll put, I'm going to have a nice and colourful blue so that one's so that one's the one that will roll over so I'm going to pick some backgrounds for them just like that so also you can edit if you want it slanted, bold, text, size and all that in there simple as that so advanced and I think my um, buttons are the size of 120 so I'll just try and get to select that pixels and this will get it the exact same size when it comes underneath so I'm going to type 120 and here you can also add the shadow and the highlighting and everything and then I'm going to select underneath that's important so as you can see that's a drop down menu that's where it would display so to actually see it we're going to have to actually export the file and you, you can't see it in fire fireworks so I'm going, to have, I'm going to create a new folder so there's a lot of files included so I'm going to save it as taskbar now I'm going to go to my pictures which is where I saved it <laughs> and taskbar 100 I'm going to open that open with Internet Explorer as far as you can now see there's my taskbar and if you go over that there's the photos and if I go over Blackpool you can see that there's a secondary menu that comes with it if you have got a lot of stuff for you on your website so that's about it thanks for watching please visit my forum pc forum.co.uk and I hope that helps you bye for now FC James 1